Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on part 3 of Kleena, the Dwarf Warrior. In my last episode we completed the Cold Ridge Valley. We are now in Karanos and we are finishing off the questline here. So we have already dealt with the trolls, somewhat, and the trogs as well. Now we have to go and give some orders out to some mountaineers. Basically, we have to boss some people around. We also have to go and kill some Wendigo. We have to kill ten of them, whatever they are. I'll be interested to see. For some reason, I think they're going to be something bird-like. But at the same time, I'm not quite sure. We also have to find some supplies as well. So, let's jump straight into it and let's get going. So thankfully all the quests are in one area, so don't have too far to go at all. And we are just enjoying the beautiful, snowy, cold scenery of the dwarves. And the gnomes as well. What's oh, well I can stop and ask them questions. You can't give me a lift though, no? That's okay. You definitely look like you're in more of a rush than I am anyway. Oh, I'm really after throwing him off what he was doing. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes for him to reset and get going. Um, Sorry. You can go now. Oh, I think I'm after breaking him, guys. Oh, you might not have seen that, but that wolf killed that poor hare over there. Oh. Um, maybe if I don't look at him. No. No. Okay. Uh, we're just going to leave him be, guys, and... Yet again, sorry about breaking your mind. Oh, and look at the lovely sunset going on. I am playing in evening time here, so it's cool to see that the sky is following suit as well. There is a saying we have here in Ireland... It can go a couple of ways, depending on if you are a farmer or a sailor. Maybe this is in your country as well, but it goes, I'm going to go for the sailor one. So it's an orange sky at night is a sailor's delight. But a red sky in the morning is a sailor's warning. Now, depending on what part of Ireland you are from, some will say farmers, or some will say sailors. Obviously, the ones, oh god, I'm so sorry, you're still here. The ones to the more coastal regions would say sailors. And obviously, the ones more inland would say farmers. Is that a saying that is in your country as well, or is there something similar? Comment below and let me know if there is. I'd be very interested to see, is that something that is in other countries? I absolutely bet there is some different variation of that. Um, it's probably one of those things that every country has its own one. Ah oh, no, my inventory is full, so I'm close anyway, so I'm going to go back and sell. Oh yeah, see, that's the cave I must have to go in to get to them anyway. So just try to find someone. Anyone? Ah, there we go. Just someone who I can sell to. Here they are. Galrun. Thank you. So... Oh, no, I better keep them. Okay, I'm going to equip all the good stuff now that I'm after getting. And now I'll sell. So at this level, I think everyone's the same. You don't really keep any of this. You're going to be growing out of... So Ooh. Sorry, I got excited there for a second. I was like, is that another bag? Oh, yes, I got another bag. I didn't even realize that was there. I'm very, very happy with that now. Oh, I love a good bag. And on now, and we'll 
finally find this cave and go in and complete these next three lots of quests. Okay, so those are the Wendigo. I'm assuming is how it's pronounced. So yeah, they're not birds. They're not birds at all. They're kind of like yetis. This is the only kind of term I could think of saying like what they are. Yeah, definitely like yetis with horns. Um. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking that they'd be some sort of bird. Maybe yeti is a copyrighted word and they didn't want to say that and that's why they said Wendigo. I'm not too sure. And we're level 10. Woohoo! Very good. So that will help now, fly through. Oh well, I, yes. Forgot they actually level up as well, so never mind. Also, don't make the mistake of what I usually do, which is when I find guys like this that I need to slay, I'll kill all of them outside, and then remember, I need to go inside. And you'll have to kill the whole lot of them again. Oh, so Troy. Alright, oh, okay, so that's kind of a ranged attack. That we have. Very good, very good. Increases. Oh, battle shout. One hour. There we go. Taunt. Stone form. Yeah, that's kind of like a heal, I suppose, really. Okay, execute. Very good. We'll move that one up. Oh, yes. And now we can specialize. Okay, arms the battle, hardened master of weapons, use an ability and overpowering attacks to strike their opponents. That's our two handed. Fury, also DPS. A furious berserker, unleashing a flurry of attacks to carve their opponents to pieces. Oh, jewel axes. Hmm. And obviously, we have our tanks as well, which I'm not going to pick the tank right now for leveling. I'm gonna stick with one of the DPS guys. But which one do I want? Two handed or do I want dual? Sample abilities, blood thirst. You can switch between them all though now, really, I suppose. So does it really matter? Striking all. Da, 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 da. Oh, which one? Which one? I actually never realised look at highlights as you go on to them as well. I'm gonna go Fury. I, I don't really know why, I just kind of think the thought of her with two axes absolutely dealing up like a whirl storm of blades will be very cool. Defensive. Ah, uh, yet again, I'm going to look for whatever passive I can get. I prefer just going for the passive abilities. As you can see, I use hardly half of the rotation here because, I mean, realistically, at this level, you're not really going to. So I'll always pick passive. Because there's no point in me learning any extra attacks unless I am forced to have to pick an attack one because I do think they do that with them. They will let you get to the stage that you picked all the passive ones and you have to pick some spell ones. Oh, are the guys... The guys I'm here to give orders to are here too. Oh, I thought that was one. I'd say that was one of the Wendigo's meals. Yeah, I'd say so. I really, really, really hope that it is actually pronounced Wendigo. I, I don't see how else it could be pronounced. I could be making a total fool of myself right now, but... We're culling the Wendigos. Yet again, culling. Another favourite pastime of the World of Warcraft classes. Just like our Night Elves. 
and I'm sure every other class, I eventually, well, class I mean race, I attempt to have a go at. There's the first one. Dunstan. You just wait over there for me, please, Mr. Dunstan. I'll be just over in a second. You do not concern yourself at all with me getting attacked and fighting these in front of you. You just chill, relax, take it easy. Thank you for your concern and for helping me. I appreciate it. Well met. Watch yourself down here, warrior. These Wendigos are savage fighters. Captain Taran wants you to deploy your remote observation bot and withdraw to Karanos. Tell Captain Taran that I'll be back in Karanos as soon as I verify that the bot is working correctly. And there it is! It's so cute looking. Is it working? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Not hanging around. Hmm. Oh. Can I sneak? I'm not going to be able to sneak past, am I? No. No, I knew it. If ever I can get out of fighting, I will get out of fighting. And it's not very often. Come on. There we go. You, another lad just chilling. How are you? Well, uh, Not concerned in the slightest. Not breaking a sweat. I've seen enough of this cave for a lifetime. I can't wait to get back to Carados. Deploy the bot. I can't wait to get out there and help in the fight against those trolls. See, he says that, but I don't know if I really believe it, considering he did not help me at all when I was fighting. And up this way then for the last. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> it's it's not up that way. Please disregard what I just said. Oh, I really need to pick up a profession as well. I saw some mines in here. Could have been getting some ore. Oh, I knew it. I was going to try to do a charge, but he got me beforehand. We've been fighting non-stop since the cataclysm. It'll be nice to get a rest. Every brief one. And there is the other boss. Which I kind of wish it was clapping its hands like, you know, symbols. I suppose it wouldn't be a great observation bot though then really would it. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be cheeky. I don't want to run the whole way out of here, so... Let's put the hearthstone to use, because it is there for a reason. And we'll just let it take its time. Hey, that was quick enough. Perfect. Now, where do I first set all the hand are outside? No problem. Did you find any of the missing supplies? Well, I found all of them. Well done, ground. Lena. The Mountaineers will be glad to hear that half rations are at an end. They'll need all their strength to continue fighting the Frost Mains. See you soon. They sure will. The Cataclysm has created chaos in Dunmora. The Trogs have come to the surface in numbers we haven't seen before, driving our traditional enemies, the Frost Main Trolls, ever closer to our settlements. Ironforge has dispatched my Mountaineer company to help deal with the problems. Thank you for your help, Kleena. Our forces are deployed tinny these days, and three Mountaineers could be the difference between defending Karanos and being overrun. Well, I hate to tell you, Captain Taran, but good luck with those lads, because if they're anything like how they were in that cave, you may as well be leaving them there. Now that you dealt with the Wendigos, we should be able to focus our efforts on the Frostmane Trolls to the east. We'll complete that as well. So pushing forward. Most of the Mountaineers and Steam Tanks in Dunmorrow are battling along the Frostmane Front. 
which is approaching us from the southeast. We can barely hold the trolls back, let alone advance into their villages and take on their leader. They've blocked our path of approach with mysterious totems that choke mountaineers who come in range, leaving the victims helpless against their enemies. This stone is inscribed with a rune of fire. It should be able to destroy the totems and free our mountaineers. And this must be our... I was going to say the battle table for coming up with their tactics, but I don't think so. Oh, he is so cool. None of our COVID ops. I'm assuming he is a rogue. Uh, and that's his, that's his name as well. It's literally oh, covert operative. Very good. I should go back to Nomergan and continue researching a cure for irradiated gnomes. But I stayed here in Karanos because the town is my home and I want to help defend it from the frost main attacks. I've been working on maintaining and, re and repairing the steam tanks. For some reason, did you just see that pet literally just come over that tent or just me? Okay. For some reason, wait. Oh, I thought I was going to do it again. For, for some reason, Frostbane scavengers have taken a liking to the gyro mechanic gears I need to complete the repairs. They're all over the Frostbane front to the southeast of town. Will you help me get those gears back? I will, and we'll get a cog belt for it. Oh, I was kind of hoping that it would have actual, like, a clock on it. I will accept, though. And we're not coming to you yet, boy. We'll be back to you soon, don't worry. You just wait there for me. Okay, so over we go. And I think now we're going to where I kind of sneaked into last time. Oh, Battle of Azeroth, yeah. Tides and learn to ride is up that way. So actually, that's well outside Ironforge to learn to ride. I suppose the Blood Elf one is kind of the same as well. It's a good distance out. Ah, so there's the totem, so... Oh, that wasn't too hard. Thank you for freeing me! You're very welcome. And we'll get some of these cogs back. Did he just throw, like, nails at me? That was, that was a bit bizarre. Technically, I mean, oh, throwing gears, I knew it looked weird. These guys, I mean, are technically engineers, these trolls, which is highly impressive. Look at them. He's throwing gears, he's throwing spears. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. This is a very musical zone. I will be surprised if there isn't another quest yet. I'll have some sort of music reference. So far, we've had total. Hold the line. We have also have, which I didn't really actually say the last time, and I should have. Well, there was also the wayward elemental, wayward sun, for that maybe. Bohemian Rhapsody as well. Gears and Spears make a great album name. Okay, slowly but surely we're doing this then, so we have four out of the eight gears. Three, three out of four of those constriction totems have been burnt, so that's good as well. Take an easy one over here. Here we go, last of them. They're just these lads to deal with. Is the boar helping as well? <laughs> <laughs> that boar looks right in there. Oh no, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry. All you wanted to do was be a mechanic. And I turned you into ribs. Most of our steam tanks are out of commission and we're losing mountaineers quickly. It won't be long before we're out of supplies too, Captain. Between the trolls and the yeti raids, we'll be down to half rations within a week. We can't keep up the operation much longer. 
Delbar and his team must launch their attack from Steel Grill Depot as soon as possible. Delbar and his men are working overtime, Captain. He has devised a means of delivering an assault team to the rear flank of the battle. We've also supplied air support for the operations and will be ready to deploy soon. If any of your men want to join the assault team, just send them to Delbar. Glad to hear it. I'll sell Delbar any forces I can spare. Pushing forward. Finally, some good news from the Frostmean front. I'll have the Mountaineers press their attacks immediately. Now, we must signal our gnomish allies at Steel Grill to start their advance. No problem at all, we can absolutely do that. Those pilots can't wait to get back into their steam tanks and take the field again. Let's not let them down. These gyro mechanic gears are perfect. These two tank pilots are well on their way to being back into the fight. Okay, yeah, so that, that cub is, I'd say, broken on whatever loop it's actually on. Because, well, I mean, I suppose probably could, you know, climb up there if it wanted. But it has gone up there now a few times in a very peculiar way. Help from Steel Grill Depot. With your help, we've managed to push towards Frostmane Retreat. Our forces will soon be in position to dwindle down the Frostmane Trolls Reserves, leaving their village open to attack. That's where the Gnomagen Covert Ops team come in. Their technicians have figured out a way to deploy operative behind enemy lines without alerting the frost means to our presence. Head to Steel Grill Depot, just northeast of town, and speak with Delbur Crankdoggle. He'll tell you more about it. I love the names of the gnomes. <laughs> Not very covert either, is it? So which way is he then? Okay, so he's up here, so not too far. There seems to be a few trainers around here as well, which is handy. Definitely going to go mining, I think, for her with the warrior. I think you get like a strength boost maybe for it. But let's talk to Delber Crank Toggle first. Modern, I'm sure. Ah, you must be the dwarf that Captain Taran said he'd be sending. I've already used a Deployatron to get most of the Covert Ops team into position at Frostmane Retreat. They're just waiting on your arrival. The Cataclysm has brought our enemies closer to home. So the Chief of Nomagan, Covert Operations, asked me to build a device to dispatch personnel quickly and quietly to any corner of Dunmorrow. Behold, the ultra-safe personnel launcher. Hmm. Already not, not believe in that. <laughs> With a jolt of electricity and the benefit of a VLD parachute system, uh, that's very late deployment for you laymen. This baby will get you to the front in no time. Just hop aboard and prepare for flight. Slamp Wobblecog will be waiting for you in the drop zone. Okay, yeah, I can definitely see that this is going to go terribly, terribly wrong. Let me see if there is a mining trainer here, just in case. There is an engineer. Can you tell me where's the mining? Uh, just along this... Oh, he's back the way. That's okay, I can... I can go back to him later. Let's, uh... Let's give this ultra safe. Personal launcher, a go. Way. <laughs> oh, sometimes when I go up really high, when I start going down, my stomach kind of drops. Uh, not this time, though. We seem to be going a bit slower. Oh, I hope this. Oh, thankfully that kicked in itself. I was like, where's the option for the parachute? Ah, here we are. Here at the covert, guys. They all look fairly coverty. Oh god, is... is there one down already? That's a bit worrying. And oh, I'm assuming his parachute didn't work. Oh lord. Okay. 
Mm, interesting. Don't worry. The feeling of being sapped won't stay with you for more than a few minutes. All in all, it's not a bad way to get where you're going. The parachute system needs some work though. Very late deployment indeed. Sometimes too late. Anyway, we have a mission to carry out. Oh my god, these people are not concerned at all. Okay. When we're done here, those frost fiends will fear us more than the trogs. They'll have no choice but to leave. So eliminate the resistance. The Frostbane chieftain died in the initial Trog onslaught, but they've been led by a well-respected warrior ever since. Batog the Berserker was the one who organized the Frostbane retreat, the construction of the new village, and the strikes against Karanos and the Mountaineers. If we remove Batok, the Frostbane's organization should crumble, leaving the Mountaineers free to pick off the survivors. Batok will be in the village just east of here. Oh well, they're really not uh, holding back, are they? Strike from above. Delbers technicians have been up day and night helping us prepare for this strike. Aside from building and turning the personal launchers, his men have prepared a covert operations air wing for a strike on the Frost Main Retreat. They'll be waiting for a signal to begin their strikes. Take this flare with you and set it off near the cluster of buildings at the north end of the village and the buildings at the south end of the village. The flying machines will make a quick strike at each site. The view from down here. We need to halt the construction on these Frostmain villages. If we let them get too entrenched, it will be more difficult to keep them from settling here permanently. It's time to give those brutes a gnome's eye view of the world. Take this gnomish viewpoint equalizer and use it on the frost main builders to bring them down to our level. They won't be able to lift their tools and construction will come to a standstill. Right. Oh, see, I like that. It's non-lethal. It's thinking outside the box. He needs to be promoted to leader of the covert operations. How is no one concerned about this guy just lying here dead? Okay. Uh, is this to test it on? Invalid target. Oh, that's I, that's a bit weird that it's there though. Oh. Will he will he make it? Will he make it? And that's the exact same model. I'm going to get out of here before we see anything more devastating going on. Okay, so we're going in to destroy this poor village. At least the builders, though, will be just shrunk down to size. The warriors will be slain, I suppose. So we're just going to shrink this guy. No, make me small. <laughs> I am so loving that way of dealing with them. Why can't we just turn them all small? Take curse away. I'm sorry, builder. I can't. I'm over here slaying your brethren. So maybe just be happy with the fact you've just been shrunk a bit. I love the little miniature trolls. I want to bring you with me. Come back. Where are you going? Oh, you're just disappearing. Okay. Another one of those snow cubs. Just probably going off on some other weird route as well. Okay, so we're five out of five on them. Now... There's just the big guy to deal with. And yet again, so I'm dealing, I'm going to be taking this lad out and he is just having like the best time of his life. He is living his best life. He's having a little dance with his buddies. His mate is playing the drums. He is lads building. I mean, he has a lot going well in life. And I'm just about to now ram in and... Destroy it all on him. Oh well. 
Let's do it. Will I go bloodthirst? Let's do it. Why not? Didn't work, did it? Oh, wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> I did not see that coming. What a plot twist. There. you just seen what I can do to him and you're attacking me. At least the drummer. Oh, <laughs> he's a builder. <laughs> uh, drummer slash builder. Definitely the way they have him is as if he's playing that drum kit with his hammer. Oh. You knew better. Oh, I still... <laughs> Now you can't play the drum anymore. What you do to me? I'm telling you, it could be worse. You can still play the drums if you wanted to. And this will be our last one then. Oh, actually, we have to do this as well. Am I within range? Uh. There we go, signal flare. I'm waiting to... Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, am I going to die? Do I have any heals? I can't remember. Oh my god, why did I just do that? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Ah, that was my own fault. I actually think that strike may have taken me out as well. Ah, well. Oh, no, and she we got thrown there, so now we... Oh, now I have to run all the way back. I was going to say we have to run all the way back, and then I remembered. I can just edit this all out for you. So that's what I'm going to do while I run all the way back and we set off one more flare I think that death was a combination of me standing in fire the airstrike and I, mean, I did not mean to pull that other guy at all that was a complete accident so I'll meet you back over there where we'll set off the last flare Okay, so I'm back in action. Now I'm going to try to strategically make my way over to the other strike point without pulling the entire place. Doing well so far. Will it? Can I do it without pulling? No. No. Let's see. Nearly. Nearly there. No, it's so close. That went a lot better this time, though. I mean, I think anyway. We'll find out. Okay, one down. And there we go. Right, so we survived that one. Oh, back are we hand in. Well done, Cleaner. That'll teach them. You did just see that, right? You did all just see that. Oh my god, this is... This is a death trap. I like how <laughs> these poor hands are just falling and dying and they don't do anything and it's to say oh he disappeared okay this is just bizarre well done Kleena that'll teach them not to mess with us in our own home when we're done here those frost mains will fear us more than the trogs they'll have no choice but to leave daylight's burning excellent job Kleena 
With Batok dead, I'll send a signal to Captain Taran. This should be the end of the Frostmane threat. Both you and the Airwing performed admirably. There is no way that the Frostmane will remain here now. All that remains is to begin mopping up the survivors. Oh, <laughs> Be seeing you. A hand at the wrench. Captain Darren asked me to pass along his thanks for your help and congratulations on a successful mission. He and his men are cleaning up the last of the trolls and tending to the wounded. He also wanted me to ask you to check out reports about troll raids on the Ambersill Ranch to the north. Ask for Sergeant Flinthammer when you arrive. Okay, we will indeed. I did think that was going to be the end of the trolls, but it must not be. Uh, hand at the ranch. Oh, I learned to ride. Okay, very nice. I see what they've done there then. So this yet again. Newbie. I'm a new starter to the game. They're lining this up so you will go and actually pick up your riding. So that is what we will do. There might be a flight path back, which would be actually really, really nice as well. But just from what they were saying, I'm assuming we're at the end of this quest line. I will find out. Might be one or two up here now to do with the trolls attacks on this ranch. We will find out. Okay, so I just went in this way because I'm thinking, well, I thought that it might be in underground, but I wonder what this is about. Are they apples? Are they roses? I can't really tell. It's a bit bizarre. This has to be like a setup for a romantic scene though, surely. The bear thing on the ground, the fire going. I definitely think they are meant to be rose petals. And I'm assuming it's... <laughs> Look at the face on him. I'm assuming it's his house. But wait until you see, like, I mean... There's that one just there. These lads out here too, so... I don't know what's going down in there, but this looks like a place where they're all working. So... Bit weird, but... Who am I to judge? And actually, I need to pick another one of these. Meh, oh... Let's increase that speed. I mean, I will be getting the learn to ride anyway, but no harm. How are you? So, you're the one who's been helping Captain Taring. Oh, okay. Beat back the Frostmane trolls. I've seen your name in the reports. It's good to finally meet you. You might be just the warrior we need to help secure the ranch. I'm sure I am, don't worry. Well met. The reports I'm sending, Captain Taron can't really convey the amount of trouble the Frostmanes have created for us. Your assault on the village has started to relieve some of the pressure. The raids are still frequent, but the trolls don't have the numbers they once did. Even so, my men are tired and their morale is flagging. Would you help us keep watch for the Frostmane riders? They could turn up any time. We'll help. I'm also going to find out now where... There he is. We'll get our mount as well. What's on your mind? Don't forget to buy your mount while you're here. Varen Amberstil is standing just outside the gates to the ranch. See you soon. And no. there we go. One of the mountaineers has seen something. Keep your eyes open. Oh. Two arms, mountaineers. Take back those rams. Oh. Am I meant to chase them? Oh no, they're kind of just stopping here. If you want your rams back, come get them, cowards. And this... Is that a child? Just, like, running around the place chasing a bunny while there's a full-blown fight going on? 
Oh, to be young and carefree. Oh, God's oh, fluffy. Oh, that's a cute name. Come on. And now, oh. Come back. Come back. I bet you he'll disappear now, watch. Yeah. That's a shame. We nearly got him, but I'm supposing they're wanting at least one to get away for... I don't know, to go back and tell the others or something. I'm sure we'll find out now in a moment. What can I do With your help, we've managed to weaken the raiders considerably. They haven't suffered such losses since the raids began. Now is the time to press our advantage. Okay, and... What can I get for not so today? fast, lady. I'll not be handing out the reins of a mighty Ramsdee to someone that's not proven an ally of Dwarves of Ironforge. Once you've been recognized as exalted to Ironforge, I'll gladly show you what varieties of rams I have for sale. Okay. The rams we raised and trained here at the Amersil Ranch have long been the mounts of choice for Dunmar's mountaineers. Aye, there are a few here, but not enough to guard my family and all the animals. A few brave frost main riders have taken to stealing our rams under the cover of night, taking them south into the tundred hills. Would you be willing to help return them? You'll need to get fairly close to them and give a sharp whistle to get their attention. Their training will take over from there. No problem. I mean, I do think it's a bit overkill just to get the mount, but no harm. And Rudra. Protecting the herd. We heard the cries in the middle of the night. Then this morning. Sure enough, the herd was missing two rams. That dastardly beast known as Vagash has been preying on our livelihood. With Ironforge troops already spread thin, there is no one to keep Vagash at bay. Perhaps you are brave enough to seek out the beast and slay him. Bring me one of his fangs and I will reward you. Bangash lurks just above the ranch here, but be warned, he is deadly. And we will accept that as well, so... Still have that to go back to Ironforge. We have the rams, and we have protecting the herd. But for this episode, this is where we will end things. So yet again, we cover quite a lot of ground in this one. Realistically, I don't know if there's actually a whole lot left here in the dwarf starting area. But we will find out in the next one where we will continue on Kleena's story. And also the story of the dwarf starting area. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe for more. I will put a playlist here as well of my other World of Warcraft Let's Play videos if you would like to see them as well. As always though, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!